Hey there, it's Steve back with you to report on the issues that I've had with the Kenick Rival S steel frame. In a previous video, I've shown you the issues that I had in today's video. I'm going to tell you how I solved the issues with this gun and tell you how you can do the same or even avoid having issues altogether. Uh, the previous video, I showed you that I was having issues with uh, the uh, standard stock mags as well as MBX mags that I purchased and I ended up sending back because they were not functioning right. You can go check out those videos if you haven't already to get an idea of what I'm talking about. But when I first started having issues, um, I read on online forums that Canik had been making some changes gradually to these guns. And um, I decided that how I personally wanted to solve the issues was get a brand new gun that was manufactured recently. So the previous gun that I had had a serial number in the 1200s. This gun right here has a serial number in the 8000s. The sticker on the case said it was, I think it's a manufactured date sticker, said 12, 2023. And I've seen some stickers recently that said one of 2024. So how others are choosing to uh, solve the problems is with base pads. These are my old uh, TTI base pads that I was having over insertion issues with. Uh, companies now that are making them that prevent over insertion from going past this little uh, well here is Henning, Henning base pads and also Taylor Freelance base pads. So let's go ahead and test these mags. Um, and these are the same mags I was using in a previous video to see how the problem has been solved. So we're gonna hold, check the gun, go ahead and lock the slide back, go ahead and insert, press up hard, close the slide, and as you can see, it closes. No over insertion issues any longer. So let's do that one more time. Press really hard, close the slide, and it goes home. So as you can see, the Issue has been solved with this later model gun. Here's the plus zero base pad. As you can see, it doesn't really insert. I don't think these came with my previous uh, gun. Uh, so I think Canik is recently adding these uh, plus zero ones to keep it from over inserting. So we're going to push up on that. Slides home pretty, uh, pretty smoothly. So here's the, uh, just the stock ones. Go ahead and try that. Push up really hard. And the slide goes home pretty easily. So, like I said, um, in the previous video, I said I hope can solve the issues because I really want to shoot this gun in competition. And I did. First competition I shot this gun in in Vegas, I took first place in a steel, in a steel match. So, real happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it, evaluate it. And... Um, I think I'll be happy with this gun. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.